Okay, for this part of the uh, Aquasurf, your Vortex controller DIY, what we're going to do is, in order to keep from removing the big pot, which I did originally, uh, I'm going to show you how to lift a pin, uh, which pin to lift on this uh, processor here, so that we disconnect it. And then uh, we're going to connect our signal to that and uh, do a few other things so that it makes it much easier than pulling this big uh, potentiometer out of here because th this pot, uh, I don't know if you can really see that very well, but that thing has got um, a lot of solder on it. It's, it's going to be really hard to get out of there. And we don't want to do that if we don't have to. So um, that's what we're going to do for this part. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here and uh, so we can see what we have here is uh, here's this little, you note this little dot right here. Well, that, that, that denotes that that's pin one. It goes down through here and then it comes back up and, and ends with 28. So 28, 27, uh, 26, 25. It's going to be, um, it's basically from left to right or right to left, it's the fourth pin. Uh, it's this pin that comes out to, to this little dot right here. Uh, and we're going to use a Zacto blade I've, or whatever you've got small and sharp like this. I'm using a, a, an old surgical uh, type um, scalpel because it's just it's small and easy to work with. So one, two, three, four. And what, what you want to make sure you do, whatever you do, you do not overheat this. Um, so we don't, and you don't want to apply too much force. That's another reason I'm using a... Uh, a very small uh, blade, something that's flexible, so that, so that there, I'm done. I've lifted that up. Um, you don't want to put too much force on it before it heats up, because if you do, uh, then then the problem is you you can ruin the circuit board. We don't want to do that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead. Well, I didn't quite get it up uh, all the way up there. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna heat it up again. Just, just a touch and so that we get that dude completely free from the board and that's that's our goal is to get this little pin completely completely free from the board now it is you can you can see that uh, if I push on it it should raise up even more if not yeah it's still still attached a little bit I'll work, just work my knife blade under there and raise it up. That's it. Uh, that's what we're going to do right here is, is just raise that up for this part. And then uh, then we'll be ready to do a little soldering to the pad that's out here. And uh, uh, you want to make sure, another thing you have to be very careful of is that you don't get solder between any of those pins. Uh, you just you just want to make sure you keep that clean and uh, so make sure that the tip of your soldering iron is is uh, nice and clean that you don't have a lot of solder on it because if you do it will definitely bleed over and get on on the other pins there and we don't want that so uh, that's it for this this part um, I'll show you what we're going to do with that here in a little bit see if I can see you can see that pin is now raised up right there very simple thing to do